What is a very minor thing you do in secret? But people might look at you differently if they found out. I'm in my 20s and I sleep with a stuffed robot dinosaur. If people knew, they would probably think I was immature or weird. But I love my dinosaur, so I will keep doing it. My now husband gave me a penguin pillow pet in college for when my internship was on the other side of the country I would still have something to cuddle. I'm almost 30, work in corporate America, and travel every week out state. You can be damn sure that penguin is in my carry-on and slept with every night haha. Talk to myself. Play out how to act normal in situations. It's lowered how nervous I get when talking to new people a ton. I always catch myself doing it and think, This is weird. You know it's weird. Stop it. I always tell myself that I'm one of the lucky crazies that can still pretend not to be crazy and people believe it while I'm acting out situations of how to be normal around other people. Welcome to the Totally Not Crazy Club. I stream while playing video games to a grand total of zero people and pretend to explain my thought process to an imaginary audience. It sounds lonely, and kind of is, but I instantly improved my rank when I forced myself to explain why I would do some things. I poop in the nude. Full on buck naked. Socks on in the winter of course. Only at home BTW, not in nasty public bathrooms. My buddy used to do this all the time and I made fun of him for it. Then I tried it and been doing it ever since. He also taught me the value of wet wipes. Good guy. I have full-on conversations with myself and laugh at my own witty comments. I do this so much. I really worry my partner thinks I'm crazy. I sit down when I shower. It's changed my life. Next time try using only candle light in the shower and bring your morning coffee in there with you. I'm not kidding. Might as well just live in the shower. Next step, add shower beers. I used to do this at uni hungover. Go sit in the shower in the dark for an hour or so. I once passed out in a shower in my dorm. Been drinking heavier than usual, but I don't like going to bed drunk. Took a shower before bed to sober up. I was walking back to my room and noticed the sun was up. I'd passed out in the shower for seven hours. Fight an imaginary person when I'm alone. So shadowboxing. Excuse me? Shadows are real. He only fights imaginary beings. I pretend I'm a YouTube star and can record my thoughts. In other words, I think with the perspective of talking to a crowd of people. I do this when I'm cooking sometimes, like I'm explaining to an audience in my head everything I'm doing as if I'm on a cooking show. I sometimes try to unlock my latent telekinetic powers by focusing on an object, scrunching up my face, and channeling said powers through my outstretched arm. I always say, if I can make this thing move, I'm quitting my job right before I do it. Then, once said thing doesn't move, I sulk in defeat. I talk to myself constantly. I do this also. I even create characters that I can talk to so it doesn't feel so much like I'm just talking to myself, but rather getting together with a group of people to tackle a problem. Thing is, I won't do this for real problems, just stupid shit around the house. So I might be thinking, and would say out loud, Man, I should really get a start on my assignment and start bickering with myself, and encourage myself to finally start doing something. Often stop in the middle of doing anything, perhaps around once a week, and force myself to remember. You will remember this moment. All I'm doing is sitting watching TV, or doing the dishes. I still have some super vivid memories because of this. My mom took me to Sears one day when I was seven or so and said, Remember for me that we parked next to the wedding dresses in Sears. So I repeated it to myself over and over until we got to where we were going. I couldn't tell you what clothes we got, but to this day, multiple decades later, I can still tell you we parked next to the wedding dresses. I do this too. I think of it as a way to track small changes in my life so I don't feel as much like things are going by too fast. I design ridiculous contraptions in my notebook and sometimes plan heists that I would never follow through with. I think about the perfect ways to shoplift. I've never shoplifted and I'm definitely way too much of a scaredy cat to do it, but I imagine being part of a TV show that has me go undercover and see how easy it is to lift stuff. I've committed so many crimes in my head I'm sometimes wary walking into stores wondering if they know. I make myself sneeze a lot on purpose, just like the way it feels.
How do you do this? Just sticking something with somewhat of a point on your septum. I know it's odd. I'm always thinking about random situations that could come up and what I would do if they did actually happen. I do this and find myself making weird faces in reaction to my thoughts and then realize people are looking at me oddly. Oh no, I do this too. I can go from laughing to visibly grit your teeth angry just because I'm arguing with someone in my head. When I'm driving and listening to music, I usually sing along. Recently I've been changing the lyrics and singing about shitty drivers and how they fail to use their turn signals or cut people off. I do this too. Let's start a band. You've got a third member if you want one. I do this all the time. My kids think I'm nuts. I check my poop after I'm done, for science. I heard there's only two types on people in the world. One, those that flush straight away. Two, those that stand up, turn and look then flush. Don't you hate it when you're at an automatic flush toilet, and the toilet flushes your poop before you get a chance to examine it? A few years ago my office upgraded our bathrooms and installed auto flushers. The first time I used one of the new toilets I stood up and it flushed before I could get a good look at the fruit of my labors. As it flushed, I joking said in a photo-stressed voice, My babies! Only then, when I heard someone else trying not to laugh, did I realize that one of the other stalls was occupied. I fled the scene of the crime before the other person could, hopefully, ID me. When at my job, I think talk to myself as if I'm training someone to do my same job, like an apprentice. In reality, whenever a new guy comes, I'm shitty teacher. I collect tumbled gemstones. I have over 500 of them. I'm not even a person that uses them for chakras or positive energy. I just like collecting rocks. I eat plain coffee beans. I don't wash my jeans very often. Like once a month will I wash my three pairs of jeans. I'm gonna cut down on how often I wash them to about every four months now. Actually read it's pretty good for the actual fabric to not wash them regularly. It wears them down and you'll get holes in them faster. Use the moon as a satellite. Every night, I go outside and talk to an old friend. But they aren't there with me, they are far away, sometimes a thousand miles away. I have this belief that they can't literally hear me, but they can sort of just feel that I am talking to them and sending them good vibes. I leave them messages in the moon, so whenever they look up at the sky, they'll know that I was thinking of them. I hold full-on conversations with my dogs if I'm alone for a long period of time. I would never tell friends or coworkers, but I had no one to talk to while my husband was deployed. Pretty sure every dog owner does this. Can confirm. I make many bets on my future. Like I bet if I have more than two dollars in my wallet, they'll marry before forty. I secretly think the world is a simulation and assure myself that no matter what's going on this is just a test to make me a stronger spiritual being and to be nice to everyone because we are all one. I also like playing with sticky things like price tags and packaging glue once they have been removed. You can roll them around between your fingers. It just feels so right. When I get behind the wheel of a car, the world becomes a video game. The challenge is to get to my destination and scathe while every other vehicle on the road is trying to run into me. I pee in the shower. I'm already in here and soaking wet and it'll clean itself. Stop judging me. Same. I brush my teeth in the shower too. You can rise your mouth and face easily and don't have to worry about getting any toothpaste on your clothes. A total win-win. My life changed when I started brushing my teeth in the shower. It's so convenient. I usually will put conditioner in my hair then brush my teeth while I'm letting it sit. Two birds with one stone. Do you have a similar story? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one.